All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, um, we've already went through most of the basics of our chat bot, most of the fundamentals. We've covered a lot of stuff. There's still lots of stuff to actually cover. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to go over sequences. All right. So sequences are something that you, you really want to have. I'm going to go in and actually create one for us here um, and kind of explain to you what they are and how they work. So sequences are kind of like if you guys if you guys are marketers. Uh, you guys are probably familiar with autoresponders, right? You add somebody to an autoresponder and then they start to get a series of messages. You know, maybe you send them an email on day one, then on day three, you send them another email, and then on day four, you send them another email, et cetera, et cetera. And maybe you make an email series for, you know, like 60 days or 90 days or whatever. And a lot of people call that an autoresponder. So, uh, and Minitat, it's about the same thing. They just call them sequences, all right? So we're gonna create a new sequence. And I'm going to create one called engage, called 24 hour engagement rule. All right. So Facebook does have a 24 hour engagement rule. And that 24 hour engagement rule basically states that if somebody hasn't engaged in your chat bot for in the last 24 hours, you can't send them promotional messages. So if you want to send a promotion out, if you want to send an offer out, you can only send it out to people who have engaged in your chat bot in the last 24 hours. So I'm going to create a sequence for myself that's basically going to trigger every 24 hours and just, you know, try to get somebody to actually engage in my post. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do, you're going to notice, look, whenever you create something, you're going to have these options and we're going to go over these options. But the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create an engagement. We're going to create an engagement flow. All right. 24 hour engagement. All right. So we're just going to create a, a flow for 24 hour engagement. Um, and it's just going to say, hey, um, it's going to say, hey, First name, you know it's really important to keep your list clean and only have people on your list that actually want to be there. I like to constantly remind you that you can exit, you can unsubscribe from my list at any time you want and I'm just going to put something here that says I'll stay and then an unsubscribe all right I'll stay unsubscribe now here we used this before, we used a sin flow, and we have somewhere here, probably in our basics, um, we probably have this unsubscribe from bot. All right, so we're just gonna select that unsubscribe. And then here we're just going to say, you know, great, hope you're loving being on my list and getting value. And then here I'm just going to say, you know, feel, free to leave me a review on my Facebook page if you want. And then I'm going to give some little nice emoji there. And this is just going to say leave a review. And here I'm just going to go to Facebook and then I'm going to go to my page right here and I'm just going to open up this reviews tab and then I'm just going to grab this URL right here and that's what's going to go inside there I'm going to open up a website and that's going to go there all right so now I just want you to remember that what I like to do is I like to start everything with a conditional block and I just basically like to look and see, hey, does this person have the tag that is unsubscribed? All right. So if they have the tag that's unsubscribed, remember, 
I like to send them to a flow that just tells them, hey, you're unsubscribed and you can't get any content from my chatbot. And if they're not unsubscribed, then I like to send them that, all right? So remember, I start all my flows like that. I put a gate there so that if somebody's already unsubscribed from my chatbot, they're not able to go in and actually get any content from me. All right, so now I'm gonna publish that. So now we're gonna go back here to our automation. We're gonna go back to our sequences and we're gonna go to this 24 hour engagement rule, all right? So here we're going to basically change this to hours and then I'm just gonna put in 23 hours and then I'm gonna save an update and then I'm going to select an existing reply and I'm gonna select this 24 hour engagement that we just created, all right? All right, so let's fix this flow. He wants a content type. So we're gonna put a content type and then just put that. All right, so we're gonna remember, we'll go over that content type later. We're gonna go back to our sequences now and we should be good. Gonna turn that on. And then what we're gonna do is we're just going to add another message. All right, and this is gonna be the same thing. It's basically gonna be after hours, 23 hours, and we're gonna save and update this. And then we're gonna select an existing, we're gonna select this flow. I'm pretty sure that, okay, so let's come in here. All right, and I'm just gonna do this a couple more times. So I'm gonna do this and then I can, I can come back in and add this anytime I want. I can add to this anytime I want. But basically what's going to happen is now literally I'm going to send them, I'm going to send them an engagement flow every 23 hours pretty much. All right. To keep them engaged inside my chat bot so that I can always actually connect with them. I can always send them a promotional broadcast. Um, and I give them ample chances to unsubscribe from my chat bot. So what, what I've noticed is, you know, you can have people inside your chat bot, you can get a big list of a million chat bot subscribers. Um, but if you don't go in and give them a chance to unsubscribe, if you don't keep them engaged, they're not worth any money to you, you know? So uh, a person who doesn't even remember that they're on your list anymore isn't really worth any money to you. So. What I like to do is I like to give my people ample, I like to give them lots of different options to be able to unsubscribe from my list. Why? Because I only want the people on my list that really, really want to be there. If they really, really want to be there, the odds are they're actually going to go in and they're going to buy my stuff. They're going to engage in my stuff, all right? So let's just kind of go through. You've seen me create these all basically the same. Let's just kind of go through what we're going to do. And if you look, as soon as somebody comes to the sequence, you know, 23 hours after they're added to the sequence, they're going to get that flow that we created. 23 hours after this previous guy, they're going to get this flow. 23 hours after this previous guy, they're going to get that flow. All right. So that's how that works. And now basically we can go in and we can pick between if we want them to get this immediately after so many minutes, after so many hours, after so many days, I'm going to pick after 23 hours because that's what I'm wanting to do. All right. Uh, you can basically go in and you can set a schedule. When do you want them to actually receive this in? You know, at what time frames do you want to receive this in and what days are valid days? All right. I'm just going to leave mine on any day and I'm going to let mine stay on any time. But just keep in mind, you can put your own schedule there. So you can have, you know, essentially you can go in and say, I want to only send this between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m., which would be, what would 5 p.m. be? It would be 19, 1700, all right? And then you could just go in and say, hey, I only want this on Saturday, on Monday through Friday. Now, if you have a nine to five business, there are only people are only going to be getting your messages between nine to five on, you know, Monday through Friday. I'm just going to leave mine at any time because that's what I like. And then I'm just going to add in my flow a couple more times. And that's it on sequences. It's pretty straightforward and easy, right? So sequences aren't really that hard. It's just a, a series of messages. Now, I'm going to show you here in a little bit. We're going to create another sequence. We're going to start doing some, you know, a little bit more advanced botting. We're going to get into Zapier. 
and I'm going to actually have some flows inside my chatbot that give away some of my software for free with no credit card required. And what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to give somebody, let's say, a seven-day free trial of one of my softwares. I'm going to send the data to Zapier to actually, or actually I might even get into the dynamic content or uh, the the post action and show you how to use that so you kind of have an idea of of how to use apis and do some more advanced stuff so they're going to come into my flow i'm going to offer them let's say seven day free trial of my software and then once they get that seven day free trial of my software i'm just going to hit our apis or maybe use our zapier integration to go in and add them as a user to our software then i'm going to add them to a seven day sequence where what I do is basically for seven days, I go give them training, go give them useful information about the software, ways that they can set it up to actually help them, things that it does, use cases, so that be, they become familiar with the software and they begin to find the value in the software. And then at the end of seven days, I'll, you know, at the end of that sequence, I'll literally go in and I'll suspend their account and then offer them a way to actually pay. And then if they go in and actually pay that invoice, then they'll actually get access to that software. All right. So that will be actually using a sequence. I do I do um, trials like like that. I can do what else can I do like that? I can do onboarding sequences like that. So I can put them into my chat bot just for onboarding. I can do challenges. I can do a seven day, a 30 day challenge like that. Here I'm literally just doing engagement post here. All right. So here this is literally just for me to get them to be engaged with my chat bot and stay engaged with my chat bot for some time. All right. So that's all I'm actually doing here. And I'm probably going to go in and, and put this in there for 30 days because if they stay for 30 days, then they're probably going to stay for good. All right. So that's going to be my philosophy that if they stay for 30 days, they're probably going to stay for good. If I'm just reminding them, if I'm just reminding them right now, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, almost seven. So I'm going to go in and actually do seven. And I could literally just do after one day after one day would be fine that still is basically um what i what i need so that will actually work fine for me and i'll just actually that would be a little bit easier for me just to do after after one day because now literally i'm just making a couple clips here and everything's actually good all right so i can just keep doing this for a little bit build up my engagement flow so that now every single day they're getting that they're getting that flow for me and actually um, i'm requesting a little bit of engagement from them all right And I'll just add a oh I'll just add a couple more just to actually build this up. You know, now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Let's just do fourteen. I think that's gonna be enough for right now. Okay. So now what I can do is show you how to get somebody on this sequence, all right? So let's go to our welcome message. If you remember in our welcome message, this is literally whenever somebody comes directly into our chat bot. So what we're gonna do in our, in our welcome message, we're just gonna come edit this flow. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add an action. And remember, we kind of went over these actions before. One of those actions was subscribe to sequence. So I'm gonna subscribe them to the 24 hour engagement rule sequence. I'm gonna essentially now route them over here and then after they're subscribed to that sequence, I'm gonna route them right there, all right? So now, literally, as soon as they come into my welcome message, they're going to get added to that sequence, and then they're gonna come over here. So I'm gonna publish that. <coughs> Got a couple other places I probably wanna do this at, all right? So I'm gonna come back over here to my flows. I've got this free training right here, and if you look inside this free training, you know, there is a keyword. If you type in free training, you can get that. And there is a messenger ref URL. Now we haven't went over messenger ref URLs. It's a growth tool. We're going to go over that in just a little bit. Um, we're going to go over that in just a little bit. But since I know what it is myself, I'm going to go in and basically add an action here to also subscribe them to a sequence. And I'm going to subscribe them to that 24 hour engagement rule sequence. And then basically do the same thing. Route them there first and then route them over there. And then I'm done with that. And then I had one other one, which was essentially chatbot training. And if I look in here, there is another messenger ref URL. All those messenger refs are, we're going to get into that. I'm going to teach you that. I'm going to show you how to use them. It's really easy. But basically, are they all they are is a direct link. 
And whenever you give that person, somebody the direct link, the messenger ref URL, when you give them the direct link, they go directly into your chat bot into this spot right here. They bypass your welcome message and they go directly right here. All right. So basically we're just going to add an action here, subscribe to sequence and subscribe them to that sequence. All right. So now we're all good there. We're all good with everything that we need. So now hopefully you guys actually understand the sequences, what they are, and how you can create one for yourself and how they actually work. So again, your sequence is literally, once you subscribe somebody to your sequence, this is going to happen. So as soon as somebody gets subs subscribed to the sequence, after 23 hours, they're going to get this flow right here. And then after they get this flow right here, after another 23 hours, they're gonna get this. After another 23 hours, they're gonna get this. Now for me, I'm just sending them the exact same thing because I wanna keep them engaged. I wanna keep my users engaged, all right? So for you, you can have something completely different. Just think of this kind of like your traditional email autoresponder, all right? Because that's kind of what it is. So just kind of think of it as your traditional email autoresponder where you can create a series of messages and you can have those messages go out after, you know, every so often. And then if you're really smart, you can get in here, you can put in all sorts of cool conditional logic and you can make one sequence that acts a bunch of different ways depending on who is the person that's inside there. And once we get into more of the advanced training, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So now you kind of understand all, all your sequences, what the sequences are, all right? So, <coughs> and the next video, what I think I'm gonna do is get into these growth tools and show you a little bit of these growth tools and how you can actually use these now to start getting people into your chat bot because that's important that we start building up our actual you know, list. You guys have watched me since day one now and you can see we went from zero to 164 subscribers in just a couple days. You know, We started here on January 24th. So now in six days, we've got 164 subscribers into our chat bot, all right? Uh, so we're gonna go into the next video. We're gonna create some gr growth tools and I'm gonna show you, you know, some of the different ways that you can also get users into your chat bot through these different growth tools, all right? So for now, all you guys need to do is go in and you know, play with those sequences and actually build out uh, a little sequence so you're actually familiar with that and then come back for the next training video.